Obadiah 14a. Ve'al ta'amod al haperek lehachrit et pelitaiv. Obadiah 14a translates in full today like this, and do not stand upon the crossroads to cut off his delivered ones. Obadiah 14 begins again here with the negated call imperfect. Uh, again, we, we're, we're seeing justives here, but imperfect in form. It's the 2MS of the root amad, meaning to stand. Now, for review, uh, the justive is indicated here by the all negation, even though the construction carries the force of an imperative. The verb is a call imperfect in form, and you may have noticed the change in the performative vowel from a hiric to a patach. When you have a guttural in this first root letter position, it will often affect the performative vowel here. The original silent schwa under the I-N changes to a vocal schwa, and then the performative vowel follows suit uh, with the vowel class. The call and the hifil can be slightly confusing with the R1 gutturals because now this call verb has the same performative as the hifil imperfect. The key here to the difference is in the thematic vowel. The call, uh, if we look at performative thematic vowel pattern, we have a o, whereas the pattern for the hifil is a i. So here we have a o. This is a good old call. The place where Edom is not to, to stand is over or upon the cross crossroads. Uh, the word peric here is challenging, but it's best understood as a narrow passageway or an escape route, more than just the crossroad of two walkways. The idea is that Edom should not stand in the way of Israel's narrow escape route. The Lamed preposition here introduces the purpose of why Edom would stand in the way of the escape route, and the verb is the hifil infinitive construct of the root karat, meaning to cut off. The object or the things being cut off is his delivered ones, or more smoothly, his refugees.